Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolo Tech and iOS 12 comes out in about a week or so and I wanted to help you get ready to install it on your devices. Now the first thing you need to know is the compatibility. It's compatible with all iPhones from the 5S and newer. So anything that iOS 11 supported, iOS 12 supports. As far as the iPad is concerned, the iPad mini 2 or newer, the iPad Air, Air 2, iPad 5th generation and newer, all of those are supported as well. Along with the iPod Touch 6th generation. So only the sixth generation gets support on the iPod touch side. So basically everything that iOS 11 supported iOS 12 will support. Now, as long as your device is compatible, we need to make sure that we have enough storage so, so that we can actually install this. So if we go to settings, we can go to general, and then we can go to iPhone storage and under iPhone storage, here's where you'll see what your usage is and how much storage you have left. So in this case, this is a 64 gigabyte iPhone and I'm using a little over half 34.5 gigabytes are being used. So I have more than enough to install the OS. Normally you need about two gigabytes. So if you need to free up some room, a lot of the time you can just enable offload unused apps. And also when you go to install it, it will try and help you remove some of those files to help you install it more easily. Now, of course, before you do an update, this is a major update. And while you shouldn't lose any of your data, you want to make sure that you have a backup. And that means either connect it to iTunes via lightning cable, and then just do a backup through iTunes or make sure you have an iCloud backup. So go into settings, tap on your name here, go to iCloud. And then under iCloud, as long as you have enough storage, if you don't, you would have to pay for this. So you may want to use iTunes, but you need a computer in order to do that. But as long as you have storage here, we can scroll down and you'll see iCloud backup that's turned on. And then you can hit backup now if you haven't backed up in a while. So this one was last backed up on the 23rd at 1109 AM. As long as you're on Wi-Fi and you, you have enough battery, just hit backup now. Otherwise you can do it later or at night when you're plugged in. So as long as you have that backup, you should be good to go. That carries across all of your iMessages and everything else. So if anything was lost with the update to iOS 12, you'll have all of your apps, all of your app data, your iMessage content, along with... Apple Music, if you're using Apple Music and you've purchased music, you can just re-download it through, through here. If you haven't, you'll have to pull that over through iTunes. Now, aside from that, you want to make sure that your battery is at, at least 50% before you update because it will require you to actually plug in the phone if it's not. So if your battery is below 50%, you just won't be able to install the update. So make sure that you're at that 50% mark. Also, if you want to install the update and you want to make sure that you get it the day it comes out, it won't automatically pop up immediately when it's available. So you want to go to settings. And then if we go to general and then software update, this is where we'll see iOS 12 when it's out. So you can check this as soon as it comes out. It's available worldwide at the exact same time. Lastly, just be patient for it to install. Normally it takes up to 30 minutes to install on a device, depending which one it is. Many times it's much shorter at around 10 minutes or so. Just be patient, wait for it to reboot and you'll have your new OS version. So hopefully that helps you with updating to iOS 12. If you have any other con comments or questions, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see anything else and I'll try and help you out. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.